Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and this is the seventh part for React, Redux and Saga tutorial series. I'll talk about why we need switch statement inside the reducer. And guys, if you did not watch our previous video, which is the sixth part, then you must have to watch that part. Because if you don't know about uh, what is reducer, then there is a no benefit to learn about why we have to use switch statement inside the reducer. And if you know about a reducer then what is the reducer how we use it then you can continue with that video right so first of all i'll tell you what is the use of switch statement and why we should use it inside the reducer i'll give you a general example also for switch statement and uh, then we will make a switch statement and replace our if else condition because in last video i just made here if else condition so that uh, you can learn in an easy way but i'll tell you that why we have to uh, convert it in in the switch statement and how we can convert it to the switch statement and at the last we will check some cases where uh, you will identify that yes in that cases we must have to use switch statement no if else all right so let me just give you a sing simple and basic javascript script example that where we need a switch statement so let's say if you have one or two or three conditions in that case uh, if if else and else if statement are okay then you can use that because we have just uh, few conditions but let's say you have lots of conditions like uh, more than 5 10 20 30 conditions that time we must have to use switch statement one reason is for better uh, code readability and second result is performance because when we use many if else conditions uh, that is not actually up to the mark performance and uh, there is a no better code, code readability and no better code standard that's why if we if we have lots of cases in our conditions that time we must have to switch so let's say we want to choose a day and uh, if we have only two days then we can just do that like if uh, the day is zero then uh, uh, day name should be Sunday if we have day two uh, or day one then uh, day name should be Monday but here you can see that we have lots of cases that time we can use switch statement for case 1 we will choose Sunday for case uh, 0 we will choose Sunday for 1 we will choose Monday for 2 for Tuesday and 3 for Wednesday like this so this is the proper uh, readable form and uh, you can see that standardized code so in that conditions when we have lots of con uh, cases we must have to use switches so now let's uh, directly jump on the code so here you can see that for a moment we have only one condition add to cart but maybe uh, in the upcoming parts we have lo uh, other conditions like uh, uh, remove to cart, update to cart, empty cart, show all cart like these conditions right. So we may have more than these ca cases also. So what we can do that we can convert this if else condition to the uh, switch statement so that uh, we can have a better code standard better code readability and all and if you will just find out the uh, official documentation and another tutorial also you will find that they also use switch statement right so why we are that's why we are choosing it here switch statement but now you may have a question that why I just in last video why I put here if else condition because I want to show you that if you want to use if else then it will still work fine there is a no issue right uh, let's say you have only one or two cases in that case you can definitely use if else condition there is a no issue at, at all right so now uh, let me just show you if uh, let me just open that uh, react port and the inspect element now you will find that if I'm just clicking over here you can see that action is called and then reducer is also called we'll do the same thing with the if else condition also so what you need to do there just make a switch here and inside it you can just pass your action dot type here we are just checking the action dot type in the if condition and where we can here we can pass inside the switch statement after that let's make your case so let's if your action type is add to cart like this then we can return something here let me just return here return one plus one or anything whatever you uh, want right 
but in a if uh, uh, switch case we must have to return a default case let's say any case is not matched then what should be returned there so in that case uh, we must have a default case also so just let me put here default if no uh, none of these case will be matched then what should return there so just simply return here mm, no action cold or no action match whatever you want to put there right and so that you can just find out the same uh, way and same result so i am putting here this uh, console dot one there and now if i am just clicking over there you can see that we are getting the same result inside the console so this is really easy to use switch statement and that is that have lots of benefits so we can use your switch statement so now let's see uh, if we have some other ca cases also so for example we have one more case like same as uh, add to cart so uh, just take an example that we have remove to cart and uh, in the upcoming part we will definitely make up a uh, case of remove to cart also right and uh, in the uh, in, uh, if you will replace this uh, add to cart with the remove to cart like this let's say we have uh, one add to cart and then we have the remove to cart another function also right in that case this case will be not gonna match right what we can do there we can just make one more case and we can simply put here remove to cart it will automatically uh, import from the uh, constant file and uh, let me just put here remove to cart condition right and now if I'm just clicking on there you can see that remove to cart condition so with that way we will make uh, some another action in the upcoming videos uh, other action like uh, remove to cart add to cart update to cart empty cart these kind of things right and we will make the cases here also so there is a no uh, remove to cart I just want to show you example that's why I just create that so for a moment I am removing these uh, things because they are not useful now whenever we will create the actual action we will uh, we will again uh, just make a function for action and complete the reducer for remove to cart and another features also so that's all for this part and uh, if you find that you have any query you have any question you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel please support me by like this video subscribe my channel and uh, provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you so much